Welcome to the first event for 2010 hosted by our Ratsu Foundation and the Romanian Cultural Center here. Nick Thorpe was based uh, in Budapest as the BB correspondent for Eastern Europe uh, from 1986 onwards, where he witnessed the, all the major upheavals that led to freedom for the former Iron Curtain countries, including, of course, Romania and their subsequent union with, West, with Western Europe. Although 89 was the year of revolutions, revolutions hardly ever mean radical change overnight. All of the East Bloc former communist countries started that year on their own paths and at their own pace towards their own versions of liberty, market economies, and democracy. It's appropriate to say that these revolutions, as the author maintains, are still unfinished. It's an extraordinary book, not, 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 because, no, but, uh, not because people haven't written about this before. They, they have. Um, and uh, there have been correspondents who've given their versions um, over and over again of what happened and, and what they saw. I think, however, that um, this is the first book I've seen that um, has such a sort of personal and dispassionate take on the events that um, Nick was engaged in. My book starts with um, the events of Brashov in November 1987 and my own good fortune to have a visa for Romania at that time. And uh, one evening, the f our first evening, I was with an American colleague, Pat Koza, and one evening at the British Embassy Club in Bucharest, the first secretary, a man called Alp Mehmed, uh, we were talking about this and that. I was a little surprised how unwilling he seemed to speak about um, Nicolae Ceausescu and, and, in fact, anything concrete about the authorities there. And at one point in the evening, he passed his name card across the uh, desk to me and made a simple gesture with his hand. Uh, and I picked up his card and guessed that he meant me to turn the card over. And on the back of the card were the words, uh, Professor Silvio Brucan, an address in Herestrel, near Herestrel Park, and a telephone number, uh, which I rang the next day and Professor Brucon was very interested to find out who I was, who my colleague from uh, the United Press was, and he invited us to his house. He presented us with two pieces of paper, um, first explaining who he was, because I had no idea um, at all. It was his biography, how he had been um, ambassador for Romania to the United Nations, the United States, how he'd been editor-in-chief of Skintea, the Communist Party daily newspaper, head of the television, was a member of the Central Committee of the Party, so very much an establishment figure in Ceausescu's Romania. And how, and the second page was his condemnation of the regime, his statement of solidarity with the workers of Brashov, who a week earlier had stood up to the regime, had rioted effectively, had attacked the party headquarters initially over unpaid wages and over the threat of redundancies <coughs> there as the elite of the working class there, but as the demonstration went on, how they had chanted anti-regime slogans and burnt portraits of Ceausescu. <laughs> I enjoyed this evening very much indeed. It, I appreciate the audience, the questions, the atmosphere here. I'm often, as a British journalist, as a British writer based in Eastern Europe, I find myself knocking my head against British um, lack of knowledge, I suppose, about um, the region. I do feel I'm a champion of the region. I love Eastern Europe, I love Romania, Hungary, Bosnia, Serbia, um, and 
and in a way this is my work to try and, if not to popularise, at least to explain a little of what's going on there with a sympathetic but critical point of view, which is what I tried to do with the book and what I've tried to do here this evening.